Welcome back to our channel where we do up machinery, we repair machinery, buy machinery, sell use machinery and talk you through that process. But what have we also got now, kids? Some animals. Oh yes we have, because we are in an animal shed. And if you've watched part one, two, three and four, we built a stable. We built some sheep pens at the top because we've now got some four-legged friends, haven't we? Yep. <laughs> She's very excited about being I've on camera. I've got ten and Molly's got one. Yeah, but Mo Molly's, you can, you can probably fit all yours on one acre, whereas Molly can only fit one on one, a one acre. So today, what are we going to do, Max? We're going to show you what we did late, earlier in the week. We went down to my granddad's farm and picked out my lambs and weighed them. Yeah, and then what are we going to do, me? Go and see Moana. Yeah, we're going to see the pony. So first of all, here's the lambs coming and then we'll move on to the pony. We're going to pick the biggest ones out of here. This one's my favourite. He's really friendly, but he's a bit lighter. He's like 16, kilo, 17 kilos. What do you do with this one? Left shoulder. Nineteen. These were all February lambs. They're all tame lambs. Been on milk. They're six weeks old. His biggest so far. He was twenty-one kilos. Just put um, C in the crate. He's eighteen kilos. Not sure about him though. He's quite noisy. Is he coming out? Come on, Freddy. <laughs> oh, Freddy! Ten of them in the back of the truck. They should make it home. So got a dumpy bag of a fast lamb creep on the back. We put a tarp on the top of it to stop it getting wet on the way home. These are the February tame lambs, but these are April lambs. They're fast asleep. Caught the first lamb of April lambing. Number one. Just having a cuddle. Number one. We've got home now, and there they are. Yeah. Feeder seems to be working. Five of them are eating the creep in here. Five of them are over there eating the straw. So they must be hungry. So we finished our lunch. It was a late, late delivery back, so we were starving. And now we've got Molly on duty of holding the feeder. Max is over here with his big bag. Let's get bag. some of the out of the bag. We got this from NWF yesterday. We're hoping this bag is enough to see them through. seems to think she's a lamb. Right, now we got creep in the feeder. You can see a bit of angle iron in the bottom. It's working a tree because it's directed it out to the sides where they stick their heads in. So, um, the lambs are back. Me and Molly are just casually sitting on the straw waiting for them to come and play. <laughs> We're trying to make them tamer, but they're more interested in eating their straw. Meanwhile, on here, widening these bits so they can get their heads in easier because there isn't any use that can come in and pinch it. And it's better for them because they don't like, like catching their ears on anything. But the threads don't work properly, so you have to there's a string around it before. So I just cut the string off and like hit it up with my foot and then I'm just tying it back again. So they can't move it now, can they? Yeah. Once you've put a bit of string on. 
so this one here, this little fella, Freddy, um, you may notice has a slightly bent leg at the front. That's something he was born with. Um, and he's doing really well, actually. I think it's he not is. A it's not a concern. He's put his weight on it. He stands up. Um, he's the smallest of the bunch. And that doesn't mean he's not going to outgrow the rest. So we're going to look after him and nurture him. Right, push him in. Hold him. Hold him. Oh, I'll mark him. Yeah. We're marking them so we can keep track of them. Yeah, give it a proper shake. <laughs> now so we can keep track of the weights so, like one of them was 21 kilos so then in the future when we weigh them to go to market we'll know that say e was 21 kilos then e say he was 46 kilos when we go to sell him then we'd know how much weight he put on that lamb so we've just banged these two bits of board on to stop the lambs nibbling away at my bag of creep. Let's put this text in. That squeezes it together so they can't put their foot in there and trap it in under. So here are the lambs, all ten of them. Yeah, so as you can see, I didn't get too involved in going and getting them. I left that to the animal crew. And yeah, very good. All very good. The works of, up through here have worked really well. With Lee's idea of putting in some Texas here, which Max done to stop the sheets um, dipping out to get the leg, legs trapped was really good. And Max, you got some you got some dung here. What's that all about? They don't, they don't get dirty, do they? <laughs> and the creep feeder is working amazingly well, isn't it? That's the friendly one, is it? I'm sure people from the rest of the video will mention that, oh, you shouldn't name them because you'll get attached to them. But we're not worried about that, are we? They'll still go to fat, won't they? Yeah. Yeah. So they'll all be turned into nice bits of lamb chop and nice legs of lamb and, and the rest of it. So, yeah. So Max's sheep pen is working a treat. Happy Monk? Yep. Please, you're now a farmer? Uh-huh. Cool. Right. Mumu, what have you got there? A head collar. A head collar and a very pretty lead rope. Which, what colour is it? I think that, that's like fuchsia pink, isn't it? Fuchsia and black. Fuchsia and black, nice. Right, should we go and meet Moena? Yeah. So who's this then, Moe? Moena. Moena, it is. Hi, Moena. You have a very pretty face and a very white body. Here you have. So she got delivered yesterday, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. And how tall is she? 13-1. 13 hands, 13 one hands. Is that 30? Yeah, 13 one hands. And how old is Moena? She's only four years old, so we've got lots of work to do to get her to the standard we want, haven't we? Well, I say we, the Royal We, Mummy and Molly's project, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? And the stable, happy with the stable? Yeah. All working well? Yeah. Cool, well, I'm very pleased with the stable. Moana, do you like your stable? I'm trying to get her to nod her head, that didn't work. Right, do you want to get her out so we can see her? There she comes. There's Moana. So although I come from a very horsey family and my parents have still got like six or seven horses and stuff, I don't really know much about them. I've sort of ignored that in my part of my life. I've never had an interest in horses personally. And yeah, but Molly is a horse mad. So Molly gets a pony. Yeah, is that cool? So my knowledge of horses is they've got four legs, a tail and a head and look sort of even and symmetrical. It seems okay. Anyone in the comments know anything about horses? Or had an experience with horses? 
Good girl. Yeah. Oh, she's outside. There is a big scary well out here, Moana. Go on then, pull her on then, me. Come on, Moana. Come on. You talk to her, Moana. Moana, come on. Moana, come on. she likes me. Good girl. The more you do that, the better you two will be friends. There we go. Hey Moo, I've got an idea. Yeah. Well, we don't. Max has got a sheep, right? Yeah. Yeah, but we don't have a sheep dog. So perhaps you could ride Moena gathering the sheep when they're in the field. <laughs> That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hey? That'd be funny. That'd be well fun. We'll get a sheep dog. <laughs> <laughs> now Max wants a sheep dog. <laughs> oh, I've opened my mouth, haven't I? Yeah. Now this reminds me of my childhood. My sister was the one playing with the pony, and I was the one mucking out. Enjoying that there, Monk? No. <laughs> well, she's done it once, Max. You get roped into it a lot. But yeah, she's dirty disabled quite a lot of the night because it's her first night here. And in a new... Yeah, she just put up the ball. It's her new, first night in a new stable, place she doesn't know where she is. But yeah, she seems quite quiet and happy. So yeah, brushing Moana. Even Max is getting involved. You brushing her? <laughs> I don't get, hey, how come I don't get brushed at home? <laughs> so the best thing about having horses isn't obviously the horse. The best thing about having sheep isn't as you having the sheep. For me, it is the machinery aspect of it. So yeah, hay making. That's a dung heap. So we're going to need a dung spreader as well. So well excited about the machinery we're going to need or we'll have to do videos on. We've already done a deal with the manufacturer with regards to haymaking video. So there's going to be a haymaking video coming. And obviously last year we went and bailed straw with a Sammy. So we might have to go and do that again this year, you never know. So yeah, lots of machinery content to come because of the animal. So apologies if it wasn't a great deal of machinery. Actually, no machinery in this video. There will be plenty more in the future. Oh yeah. All right, so who's happy with that animal shed? Yeah, we have a very happy family. And I think they've got off my back now. The door's about to blow shut. But <laughs> I've got them off my back now because they've got stuff to do. It means I can get on with loads more projects, loads more machinery. Well, happy. Which, what's this lamb called down here? Eddie. Eddie, because it's E. He's very friendly. He keeps trying to eat my boots. Anyway, my boots. thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio. Bye.